What's up, guys? You know, letting go and being in control and focusing on enjoying the process is really the key in allowing us as actors to feel successful and happy and helping us overcome what we all know as the bitter actor syndrome. This is true in an audition, with a self-tape, or with a project, and with your career. Not being focused on a specific result and instead of focusing on taking action allows us to be relaxed and happier as actors. The more relaxed and comfortable we are as actors, the more creative our work will be, which leads to more success in our career. Second guessing what a casting director or director or producer wants is pointless. It's hard work trying to impress other people, especially when we have no idea what they want in the first place. So trying to impress others will lead to a resentment and bitterness. You're entitled to your actions, but you're not entitled to the fruits of your actions. Can you as an actor place value in action? Can you say, I took this action because I enjoy taking this action? The bitterness comes when the desired result does not follow our action. We become bitter because we want to control and expect a specific outcome. When we let go and only focus on the action we're taking for our careers, we overcome being bitter and become more fulfilled as artists. Being fulfilled leads us to feeling more confident and that allows us to be more creative. And when you're open and, and fulfilled, um, we just love being around people who are confident and relaxed and they inspire us. The actors that we all must want to hang around with and the ones who casting directors want to hang with are the actors that are relaxed and they don't, they're not trying to impress. They're just showing us who they are as people and as actors. They inspire us with their art. People ultimately want to be inspired. It touches who we are as artists and it gives us power. So how do we become that person? Well, it's pretty simple, just by letting go. Letting go stops us from taking things so personally, which helps us to focus on what we can control, our actions, our work ethic towards our craft. It's hard in this new world of technology, but your craft still matters. And when you get a no or quote, rejection, all that is is the industry telling you that you're just not right for this project. You just have to have a leap of faith of letting go and trusting that what we do is enough, that what you do is enough. A leap of faith that your preparation for your audition, for your self-tape is enough, that you're in the right place for your career. Some of the things I do in the morning, I meditate two to three minutes every morning and I kind of tell myself that I'm gonna have a great day. And that kind of sets my day up focused towards something positively. Um, I visualize it. I visualize some of the things that I'm gonna do um, when I'm meditating, I visualize that I'm going to write, I'm going to, I'm going to work on some administrative work, and I, and I kind of visualize how I'm going to feel when I accomplish those tasks. And the most important one really is to be around people who are positive. Surround yourself with people goal-oriented, optimistic, kind, and celebrate and validate who you are. As they say, you are the average of the people you surround yourself with. And this also includes your agent and your manager. And I'm very blessed to have a team that believes in me as an actor and as an artist. So remember to let go, trust the process, and just focus on the actions you take every single day. You are where you're at in your career, and wherever that is, you're in the right spot. Break a leg, keep grinding, keep dreaming.